Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video I want to talk a little bit about the, well, how players can get their hands on some of the new springtime dual coins, but also just to explain the mechanisms behind the ranking coins for the Legends Limited Z Power. So this is obviously the Splendid Spring Medals, which you can get from the dual campaign. And this is a ranked PvP campaign uh, that usually pops up uh, around these kind of pseudo big celebrations or relatively big celebrations. And obviously for the most part, these are accompanied with the traditional rewards of 300 Chrono Crystals uh, and some other useful items. However, this time they've also added in a new type of metal, which is the Splendid Spring Medals 1, 2, and 3. Now, these medals are different in that these medals are allocated on your overall ranking amongst the global or entire Legends player base at the end of the season. And these are actually quite valuable. Uh, if you look at what they can get in terms of the exchange shop, it's pretty good. The ranked springtime medals can get you 600 Z power for a Legends Limited of your choice from a decent selection. I'm not going to say it's an OP selection, but it's a pretty decent one. Uh, and it scales down from there. Ranked 2 coins will be able to get you 300 Z power with select units. And ranked 1 coins will get you 100 Z power. Now, I mentioned these things, but honestly, it's going to be quite difficult to get these. The only way to start getting them is to be in the top 15% globally, uh, which usually means you have to at least crack into the high 60s or top 70s uh, in terms of rank. So you need to really kind of be uh, quite good at PvP or at least dedicated. Now, there's a couple of cool things going on. We do have the usual rewards in terms of spring medals. Uh, so we have the springtime dual medals, which you can obtain simply just by winning matches or knocking out opponents. So very, very simple stuff. And you can get 300 Chrono Crystals this way. In terms of the actual rankings, though, this is where you're going to have to really try to kind of bust stuff out. So if we take a look at the ranking rewards, it's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, if you go to the rankings and you go to the overall rankings, you can see where the allocations will lie for the spring medals. So if you go to ranking rewards, um, this is just overall ranking, of course, uh, top 1000, etc. But if you go to the ranking rewards uh, here, the little eye on the right hand corner, and you press that, you can see that the ranking rewards will be allocated according to your overall rank. So for example, uh, those who place in the top, I believe, uh, 10,000 will receive a 3 ranking medal. Uh, 1, so 600 Z power, which is pretty cool. The top 5% will receive a rank 2 medal, which is 300 Legends Limited Z power. And the top, uh, you know, how can I say the top 15% uh, will receive some rank 1 medals, which is also relatively decent. So pretty good rewards overall. Uh, obviously, this requires a lot of dedication to PvP. So I wish you all good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.